Alright guys, now yesterday, before I went to bed actually, I was thinking about what I could possibly uh, talk about tomorrow because there wasn't an SML view, uh, video that I could really review today uh, because they didn't post. So I said to myself, what could I possibly talk about? And then it hit me. I started looking back and scanning through all the SML episodes and I realized something. Oh, I realized something interesting. And unfortunately, I think within the next year, or I mean within by 2022, we might genuinely see Brooklyn Guy, Mr. Goodman, Jonathan, and a couple other characters get removed from SML or they make new puppets for those characters. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. So, 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 so. I know a couple of you guys know exactly where I'm going with this, so that's great. But again, this is something we need to talk about. So if you guys are going to go out to enjoy, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, honestly, let's just talk about it right now. So here's what is going on. Now, if you guys know, well, obviously you guys know, basically the season this is letter last year forced Logan to make puppets instead of using their plushes. And what happened was, was that they were already coincidentally using puppets so they wouldn't have to make this transition overnight which I still kind of find is a little bit of bullshit but that's just my opinion um but yeah so whether this season this is letter actually happened or not again I've talked about it many times on this channel regardless of if it happened or not uh Logan was forced to use puppets and because of this Logan then had to pretty much just decide to hey we're gonna open up an sml merch store and sell these puppets because now is prime time to do so and well he did that so what happened was was that logan actually made his you know sml merch store and he made a legitimate store in person and he made one online um obviously the in-person store took a couple months to you know start up but again, overall, it was an SML merch store, and it was one at that, right? And you could buy all the SML puppets, except for a few of them. And these few characters include Brooklyn Guy, Mr. Goodman, Chef Pee Pee, and Jonathan, as well as a couple others. Um, and so you might be wondering, why can't we buy those? Well, because... Logan physically is not allowed to sell those puppets. I mean, he can... But, like, like realistically, he can. It's just he could probably get sued for it. Um, it's, it's kind of like a situation of, okay, think about it, right? Let's just say you are a, like, home manufacturing business, right? Let's just say you manufacture puppets, okay? You're manufacturing puppets, right? That, that just means you're creating puppets and you're selling them to people firsthand, right? Let's just say the people you sell them to decide to put it on their website where they label it as their own and then they sell it for let's just say double the price right i'm not talking about something like amazon where you get all these different goods and you know there are a ton of people who scalp on amazon and ebay and all that and then they they go to like uh you know retail stores they buy stuff and then they put them out for double the price this isn't the situation logan is in because this is a manufacturer that is the same manufacturer for Brooklyn Guy, for Jonathan, for Mr. Goodman, and for Chef Pee Pee, and Jackie Chu. Jackie Chu is also another one that he can't sell. So this manufacturer, and trust me, the reason I know this is because when I went to the library once, when I was in uh, fifth grade, I went to the library as a as a field trip with my school. So I, it was so freaking awful. It wasn't really a field trip. It was just a kind of like a choose whatever books you want day, right? So, you know, our library was kind of across the street, right? So we walked across the street, we got out of school, we walked across the street, we made it to the library, and then I saw an entire box of puppets, and they were all from the same manufacturer. And it consisted of Brooklyn Guy, Jackie Chu, Mr. Goodman, Jonathan, and Chef Pee Pee. And those were the only five puppets there, okay? Just those five, literally just those five. And so that's how you know that they came from the same manufacturer. Obviously, I'm not saying that the library made those puppets. I'm saying that the library imported all of those puppets from the same manufacturer to put into the kid zone. And it's no coincidence that these are the same five puppets that Logan does not have for sale on the SML merch store. So, 
Yeah, you, I'm right or uh, am I right or am I right? Like, I'm right. Okay, anyway, great. Now that we've established that, okay, that is physically impossible for Logan to sell unless he has the permission to do so, which, I mean, honestly, it's kind of a weird situation. I don't know what is legal and what is not at this point. Um, I think he can, actually. I don't really know. If anyone wants to clarify in the comments down below, that would be greatly appreciated because I don't actually know if Logan has the rights to sell him. I think it's something that they can establish on their terms. I think that company knows that Logan uses their puppets and they don't care, but I think it's up to them. And I, I don't think that they would allow Logan to sell that unless, unless there's a possibility that Logan gives them a percentage of the sale because then they're at that point, they're just kind of like screwing over and yeah, they're just screwing over that place. The only reason that, you know, scalping on Amazon works for example, is because the actual, um, I think the actual owner of the, you know, of the product that you're selling makes a percentage on that. And that's why they don't have a problem with people selling their stuff online. So if Logan can arrange something like that, I think it would be good. But anyway, I digress and I don't know. Um, but yeah, that leads us to our next point of this video, which, you know, if that's the case, and if they can't really get, you know, things to sell, and if Logan cannot actually sell them, then what do we do? And are they, is Logan going to be that money hungry to the point where he says to himself, I think it's a good idea to make my own Brooklyn guys, Chef PP, Jackie Chu, Jonathan, and Mr. Goodman puppets, and therefore I'm going to make them and then I'm going to be able to sell them on smlmerch.com and I'm going to try to make them look similar to the original prototype. And let me just say, this is a terrible idea and if Logan goes down this route, he's going to be clowned for eternity, he's going to lose a ton of subscribers and he's going to be labeled as money hungry. And I mean, this process alone could genuinely ruin SML. I mean, if you take out Brooklyn guy and you you know, you create them with a shitty SML version of it. I'm not saying SML's puppets are shitty because they're genuinely not, okay? But if you try to do that, it's not going to end well. You know, we've seen what they did with the Chef PP puppet. They tried to make a Chef PP puppet so that they could sell them on SMLmerch.com. I'm sorry, it looks like dog shit, okay? SML can make puppets if they're not you know, if they're not trying to recreate another one, if you guys know what I mean. Like, if they freelance, the, like, they freelance the Junior Puppet, they designed him how they viewed Junior as a human, and it worked out well. I think the Junior Puppet is actually a good puppet, um, but when they try to recreate off another human puppet, it doesn't go well. The Shep PP one was complete dog shit, okay, and that's just the truth, okay? It just looked completely terrible, so if he tries to do that ever again, it's not gonna end very well, but... I digress. At the end of the day, it's about what makes Logan money. I think it's just a business at this point. And um, honestly, man, I just hope Logan makes the right decision because I think if he doesn't, you know, opt for, you know, to make these new puppets and have them inside the SML, you know, honestly, the, here's what I think the best thing for Logan would be. And this is just, um, this is just the best thing Logan could possibly do for his, um, for his money, okay? If Logan wants to be money hungry, and if he wants to do this, right, because he has been money hungry with the tour, tour bus and everything, listen, if Logan wants to be money hungry, here's what he does. Brooklyn guy is arguably people's favorite character right now. So what I think Logan should do, and the Logan, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you are, listen, all you got to do is you make a Brooklyn guy puppet, you make a Jackie Chu puppet, you make a Chef Pee Pee puppet, you make a Jonathan puppet and a Brooklyn guy puppet. You make those puppets and what you do is you do not use those puppets in the damn videos. I, I repeat myself, do not use the puppets in the videos, but just use the puppets you made and sell them on your merch store. And then that way you won't piss off people who are watching videos and you'll also allow people to buy their favorite character because I know a lot of people love Brooklyn Guy and they can't really buy him right now. So that is that. That is the end of the video. Um, honestly, I think that would be the best thing for Logan. Personally, I just think just keep things as is. Um, again, if Logan wants to go all out, he will, 
use his puppets as advertising and he will screw up sml to do it i i believe trust me i believe <laughs> nah guys but i appreciate you guys watching till the end of the video if you did please drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel as always and without further ado guys comment down below as well what you think is going to happen without further ado peace out everybody